Pussies. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but I want to give you a loadout video for 2024. Um, since our last video, a lot of my kit has changed. Um, new guns, new accessories, so on. Um, so we'll get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and put on all my gear and we're going to go ahead and uh, jump right into it. All right, as you guys can see, this is my kit. I'll do a little turnaround for you guys so you guys can kind of see everything. Um, I've been working on this kit for, gosh, a few years. Um, yeah. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, so first off, I'll just go over my primary gun. Um, so this is a EMG Daniel Defense licensed uh, Mark 18 uh, by ICS, I believe. Not 100% sure. Um, I just run a micro T1, pec box, a flashlight, and a mock suppressor that actually does screw off if I so please. I'm not gonna tear it off right now. It is wired to jeans. I run a 11-1 LiPo in it, and it is the snappiest gun. Well, one of my snappiest guns. I have a different gun that I might show. Um, but that's definitely, it's a snappy gun, for sure. Recommend it, 10 out of 10. It's been beautiful since I've owned it. Um, so let me go ahead and take this off real quick. Set this to the side. Excuse me, sorry. All right, so we'll go kind of top to bottom. I'm still kind of running the same uh, helmet setup, the off-brand Comtacs, of course. Um, helmet, I couldn't tell you. I bought it years ago. I never paid attention. So, yeah, there's that. Let me stand back up, sorry. Um, I have a one Tigris. No, this is actually a... Team Wendy helmet cover, um, and then I got some multicam netting, that's what's on top. Um, just cut it up, put it on, looks amazing, you know. I don't buy the pre-made ones, I kind of made it myself. My teammates run the same stuff, so yeah. Um, we run a Oakley M frames, of course with a Hilo kit. Right now, mine doesn't have the Hilo kit in it because I'm not playing Airsoft. Um, then I am running a, what is this mesh mask? Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, it's just one of these mesh masks, it, fabric on the sides, in sand. I don't like the color. Um, I want to get a more tannish one, but... You know, it's hard to see stuff online, but there's that. Um, for my plate carrier, I'm using a Yakida plate carrier off an of Amazon um, with some foam plates in it. Um, a lot of people like the more expensive stuff. I'm not into the expensive stuff. Um, I'm an Amazon operator. That's just how it is. Uh, just running off the three stacks that they give you. I have some Ky Kydex, yeah, Kydex 556, um, little plastic things in here to keep the form of the plate carrier. Um, I'm just using some KWA 120 round mags. Um, they fit well. Uh, these little thingies you can buy off of like AliExpress, something like that to, uh, kind of give you some pull. Other than that, it's not really, you know, it's just standard magazine, 120 rounds. I am running a one point sling just through the loops here. And on the back, it has like a little multicam belt kind of thing to hold it on the back from, you know, rubbing against my neck. From there, um, I just have a, on my right side, 
I just have like a little phone holder. Um, I want to get it multicam, but of course I didn't get it because this was for a different kit. But I threw it on here. Looks good. You can put your phone in here. There's two zippers. You can kind of throw your Gerber stuff like that. Electrical tape. Maybe some small tools in there if you so please. I have an extra magazine right here. I don't use this. This is for buddies if you know they run in and out of ammo and they need an extra magazine. They know where to grab it, right? Um, on my back, I'm using a, sorry, I'll give you a good look right here from my back here. Um, I'm using a Ido Gear Multicam uh, Water Carrier, whatever that's called, Camelback. Yeah, you guys understand. Um, I probably should have done a little bit more research of what I had on me, but, you know, I'm kind of throwing a video out there for you guys. On my left side, I have a multicam pouch. Um, I've been thinking about putting it up here, uh, but this holds my grenades. Um, these grenades are just a standard spring grenade because that's what they accept on our field. It's a... Oh, it's a Lancer Tactical Grenade. Nothing crazy. It explodes on impact. Pretty good grenades. You just tend to lose the pull pins here and there. It is what it is, right? Fun part of Airsoft. All right. Let's go down to the belt. So I just have a, oh, sorry, forgot about this. It's like a little fanny pack thing, multicam. You can find it on Amazon don't know 100% what it's called, but uh, I'll put spare batteries, something that I can reach quickly in here. Um, amazing stuff. I like it, especially when I'm crouching. Protects, you know, the down area. Uh, the belt, it's an Ido Gear Multicam belt with Velcro on it. So it's a good Velcro. It stays on, doesn't move, you know. Um, here, I just have a little belt loop carrier for my gloves. It's multi-cam multi mechanics gloves. You know, complete the, you know, kit. You don't need gloves, but if you want some gloves, mechanics, yeah, it hurts when you get hit, but they feel good in the guns. You know, you're not going around with clunky gloves, which I had when I was, you know, a little bit newer to Airsoft and it was hard to get my finger into the trigger well. Uh, yeah, but uh, from here, I have some off-brand Safari Land holster off of Amazon in multicam. Here, let me stand back a little bit. In multicam, um, it is for a Glock 17. I have a Glock 17 Gen 4. Um, it's a little old, been thinking about getting a new one. Uh, I've been thinking about getting a Gen 5. My buddy has a Gen 5. Of course, it's a gas blowback. No CO2 blowback, gas blowback. Um, my back right here is just like a first aid pouch kind of thing. I haven't filled it yet because I just, I just got it. Um, yeah, here it's a multi-cam dump pouch for my magazines, of course. Um, here I have two little off-brand kind of holster things here for M4s. Find them on Amazon. This thingy is like a fake um, helicopter attachment. Uh, Special Forces or whatever kind of use these to hook up to helicopters and whatnot. Of course, this thing's 12 bucks, so oh, I'm not going to you know, go anywhere with that. Um, other than that, I have my 511 kind of, sorry, my dogs are messing around out there. They're kind of being a little annoying, but a 511 army green-ish color, um, upper, or shirt, sorry. And then I have some Ido Gear pants, um, with knee pads, you know, these feel amazing. Um, they just discontinued these, so if you have a pair, you understand these things are amazing. Um, 
Sorry for like the kind of echoey. I just moved in trying to get some things on the wall so that way it doesn't echo so much. But uh, yeah, uh, for my uh, boots, I wear some free soldier boots off of Amazon. I mean, they're important to, you know, be comfortable during the day. I've been thinking about getting, you know, some Under Armour tan boots or something like that, some hiking boots, something like that. But these things get the job done, you know. Uh, my feet don't hurt at the end of the day after I've broken them in. These feel great. They keep my ankles safe. Yeah, I have no complaints. Um, I'll show you guys one more gun. Uh, it's kind of my backup gun. Um, I couldn't tell you the full name of it. It's a Lance Tactical. Give me one second. It's a Lance Tactical. Um, it has a flat trigger, small trigger pull, you know. I have a riser on it because it's kind of hard on the field to kind of see down range. It's a one to four times. Oh, sorry for my dogs. And then I have just a little foregrip up front, um, added a Picatinny rail on the bottom, and so on. Um, you know, amazing gun. This thing sounds amazing. I've had it for months. The sound still sounds like it's brand new. Doesn't even sound like any, it's even been used. Amazing gun. This is the gun I let people borrow whenever they come and their gun goes down. Um, other than that, I mean, I have a few more things. If you guys would like to see other videos, just go ahead and drop a like. Um, comment if you guys would like to see more of something. I don't know what you guys would like. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll try to uh, tag our socials in the description below. Um, we're setting up a Facebook, but we have a Discord. We have an Instagram. We have a TikTok where I will be posting a video of this kit on there to kind of show off my kit and so on. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking time out of your guys' day to uh, come hear me yap a little bit. Um, but thank you guys. I appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, other than that, thank you for watching Red Tail Nelson. See you in the next one. Peace.